Cá. Good afternoon. This has been a very active area. The closest location we can give you, we are near Donald Circle. It is in a rural area of Odessa. And as you can see behind me, we have been seeing FBI. We have been seeing officers scouring this area. And we're told they're trying to find more evidence. But of course, officers here are not talking to us. Uh, we did have a chance to talk with one neighbor in the area. In fact, she lives right behind this house uh, where investigators are. She gave us some insight into the person that lives there. Now, what she said, she had some run-ins with this gentleman. She said at uh, one time she had a lot of trash. He got mad at her. He came and brought a rifle to her location, and she feared for the lives of herself and her family. She does have four children. So she spoke with us in Spanish. We're going to be sharing those interviews a little bit later. Others' neighbors scared to go on camera. They want to remain anonymous. We asked them, would you share your stories? They've been, if we didn't show you on, on camera, but they're scared for their lives. They said they had heard gunshots in this area. They had seen the man and they feared for their lives. Other neighbors say it's a quiet area. It's West Odessa. They are uh, used to gunshots ringing out in this area. So uh, we've been scouring this neighborhood. We have talked to several neighbors. There are many of them who only speak Spanish, a couple that speak English. Of course, there are others who want nothing to do with the media. We've gone, tried to go on their property, and they asked us to leave politely. So uh, a lot of unanswered questions, but we're getting a little bit more insight into the person that lived in this home. Again, right behind me, we have seen officers and investigators scouring this area all day looking for evidence, but of course they are being very tight-lipped. We've spent the past couple of hours just trying to talk to as many neighbors as possible. As I mentioned, the neighbor right behind here, four children, a husband and wife. They only spoke Spanish, but she said she was scared for her life. She did make some very strong claims. We're going to let her uh, let her say that in her interview coming up in just a little bit. We're in the process of trying to get that translated for you. But uh, neighbors here say they fear for their safety. They have been scared for their lives for quite some time. Again, they have heard, they have heard gunshots ringing out several times in the middle of the night. They say, in fact, this neighbor that I talked to over here, she said that she called authorities. But because it's a really rural area, police never came uh, because they couldn't find the address. So... Uh, a lot of people still fear for their safety even right now, and we are working and continuing to work to find as many answers as possible. We're going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Monica, for that live report. Obviously, there are neighbors there who have had run-ins mm. with this particular individual, so we'll try to hear from them. I understand she has interviews that are coming back, coming uh, in just a little bit. But